Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 6 of this RMS Coronia tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's propellers, rudders, or rudder, uh, focusal deck details, um, a few windows, a few doors, and some other details I can think of along the way. Uh, a couple of cranes. Plenty of detail, I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, we'll start with the propellers and the rudder anyway, so we'll go down the back. Um, there's a single rudder, and like what I said at the beginning, and two propellers. So we'll fly to the back end. It takes all day to get there, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Right, there we go. Alright, so now we'll plop down to the bottom of the ship and what we're gonna do is add the rudder first. So we'll go uh, and get rid of the sign because we don't need that anymore. And we're gonna use stone wall. I think it's stone wall, isn't it? So we need a uh, cobblestone wall for the hinge, so we'll use that. And what we're going to do is second block up from the keel at the very back here. We're going to add a hinge, a hinge, a hinge, and a hinge. So you add four stone, uh, cobblestone wall pieces like that. And then from the keel down, uh, well from the one block from the keel basically, we're going to add the rudder base, which is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then two forward. And then underneath uh, five forward, one, two, three, four, five. And then underneath that, two forward, like so. And then down, all the way down to connect to the bottom down there. So there you go, there's the rudder shape. And then we just fill it all in with red. Nothing really spectacular about that. And I didn't really actually really design this rudder because it's just sort of a copy paste from the Queen Mary, although slightly shorter. Um, so yeah, that is the rudder there. So that's that. And it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Alright, now for the propellers. I'm just going to get my notes so that I know what I'm doing. Alright, where's the propellers? Propellers. Alright, so the propellers, what we're going to do now is go to the, the keel just in front of the, of the rudder. So you've got the rudder hinges there, and you've got the keel end there. And then on the first block up, you're going to count from there nine blocks up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like so, and then 21 forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So on the 21 blocks, or 21st block forward, we build out 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And then we go underneath 2, and 2 again, like so. So it's 4 out, 2, and 2. And then we need to add the propeller shaft so one block back uh, or two blocks but two blocks forward back whichever way you want to go uh, and then we're going to use um, sandstone I think I think that's what I used on the prototype uh, sand, <coughs> sandstone blocks and sandstone stairs so you know, sandstone sandstone stairs so use them and we need sandstone blocks so end brick end stone bricks no what, what where are they we get sandstone or sandstone and chisel sandstone. We we'll use that one, chisel to chisel. I don't know. Uh, so we put a sandstone block in the middle there, and then we go up. I can't remember how I done this. We go up one, two, and then add a stair on there, and a stair underneath, and then two blocks down like so. I can't remember how I done this. So we'll, we'll carry on like this anyway, and then add stairs underneath. Um, now we're going to scrap that. Okay, I've done this wrong. So what we're going to do? We're going to go center block, and then one, two, three up, and then stairs on the top, stairs around the side, and then two blocks down, and then stairs underneath like that. So you got a propeller blade shaped like that, and then on the inside here we go one, two, three out again, stairs on the top, stairs underneath, and then one, two blocks with stairs there like that. So there you go. You got two propeller blades and then underneath we go one two three down and then stairs there stairs and then one two blocks and stairs again so you got three propeller blades it's looking fantastic and then last one we go one two three out stairs stairs one two blocks and stairs again so there we go you got three propeller blades and then a center block 
for the actual propeller nib knob whatever you want to call it and that is slightly different to the ones on the prototype because I can't remember how I actually built them but uh, we can adjust it if we want to we can remove one block and replace the stairs so it may, yeah, it may, that might work better actually so re remove one block and replace the stairs and do the same underneath and I think that yeah, looks better doesn't it so that looks a bit more propeller-esque and you can make it better if you want to. I mean, the propeller on the prototype is slightly different again, but like I said, I can't remember how I done it. Um, but anyway, that's the that's the propeller, um, and you can make it shorter if you want to. You know, it's, it's not uh, it's not necessary how you do it. But I think I'll try one more one more attempt. So I we'll remove the ends and remove those ends and put stairs and stairs that stairs that that way on there. And then a block and then stairs that way so that is a slightly shorter propeller blade so we'll try this one we'll, we'll just give it a go because I'm sort of far tossing about here so we'll try it different ways and I don't look too bad so like I say it's all, it's all trial and error and I don't normally spend this long doing propellers because uh, it's wasting time but entirely up to you how you want to do this but there we go that last attempt and that don't look too bad do it that, that looks more in proportion with the ship so that propeller shape is what you can do I apologize for taking so long doing it but I just wanted to make sure we get all options available and sort of shown anyway that's the propeller and then in front of the propeller you just want to add the propeller shaft in red going all the way forward to blend in with the hull and then we can leave the propellers and never think about them again and then we just carry on with the other sections as well the next or the propeller fin if you want or the wing or whatever you want to call it just build that until it connects and then the same with the next rows there and there, 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 and finally in there. And there we go, that is that section done. So that's the propeller and the rudder, and you just need to do the same thing on the other side. I won't bother because I can't be bothered. Uh, I just do a copy paste, so I'll copy from down here. You can tell this in every enthusiastic video. Uh, and copy to that point, and then we do uh, copy flip to the right and then we paste and there we go that's both propellers so it's it's in proportions but if you want to make it bigger like the first design then by all means I mean this is just a trial and error thing um, but yeah I think I'll go over to the prototype and sort of have a look so the, that's the propeller that's the design we've got on there now over there so that's that design but on the other side got a slightly bigger design which I think was the first one we tried so you can use that one or you can use that one, or any design you want, it's entirely up to you. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, like I say, it's a, it's a trial and error thing. But, uh, yeah, that's that. So we're going to leave the propellers now, never talk about them again. Um, for the doors and windows along the top super stretcher, I've not added yet. I did say I was going to do them, but I never got, well, I didn't get around to doing them, but there's something we can add later on and uh, look at the prototype for reference on that one. But I've not added any doors or windows to these top deck houses. And the, and the wheelhouse <coughs> pardon me but um, we'll have a look at those later on so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the forecastle deck now this deck here on the front of the ship remember it's forecastle it, it's spelt forecastle but it's pronounced forecastle okay I know a lot of ship experts who are well, apparent ship experts still call it the forecastle even though they you know it's not the right pronunciation yes right anyway what we're going to do now is go to the front wall of the uh, front wall here of the uh, of the super structure and from the center block we're going to count out to the sixth block so we go so that's the center you go one two three four five six and we're going to add stairs there so is it stairs or banisters well it doesn't matter so we'll add this uh, we'll go to the seventh block and then add the stairs so it's one two three four five six seven, seven. so the seventh block out and then we add the stairs so stairs stairs and then block stairs, a block and stairs, a block and 
there's like that and then the banisters of course we go two up two up two up two up and then two up two up two up two up like that so that's that side so it was the seventh block out all right so we do the same the other side one two three four five six seven remove that block and replace it with stairs stairs a block and stairs a block and stairs and stairs then a block and then the banisters two up two up two up two up and then two up two up two up two up like so and there we are there's the the stairs added there and that's that job done there all right so then what we're going to do from the center block again uh, on the deck level we're going to count two or a two block gap so one two and on the third block we're going to build a cargo hatch which is seven wide so center block and then one two three that way and then one two three that way and the sides are four one two three four one two three four and then just go around the front now on the prototype it's one high but I think what I do here we make it one and a half high so we we'll use a quartz slab and we'll add a quartz cover to it so it's basically just making it slightly taller than previous so no real hassle there so there we go there's the first cargo hatch alright so then what we're going to do now is leave a six block gap so from the front wall we go one two three four five six gap and on the seventh block uh, we build a slightly larger, it was a sl uh, well, it's more of a shed or a building rather than a cargo hatch so I'll say we'll call it a building and it's going to be 13 wide so that's the center block and one two three four five six that way one two three four five six that way and the sides are nine one two three four five six seven eight nine same the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine and then across the back like so, so you got the square like that and then build it uh, three high so three high all the way around should use world edit for this but I can't be bothered actually I can because it's a bit of time so just build it three high all the way around There we go, three high all the way around, and then add the roof, which is basically quartz blocks again. So just add the roof, quartz blocks, and so I shall stand on this block here and just use the fill tool to so use fill uh, quartz by 100 or so, 200, and there we go. There's the uh, quartz building done. There's nothing special. There's no windows or doors to it. It's just a shed. You can add a door to it, which probably makes sense, but uh, I didn't on the prototype, so I'm not going to bother. Right, so what we're going to do now is leave a, th I think it's a three block gap, so down to the centre block again, and I'll add a centre block red, so there's a red block there for the centre. So from the centre block of this front wall of the building, we're going to leave a three block gap, so one, two, three, and on the fourth block we're going to build the little, mechan the little mechanical system, which I think it raises and lowers the anchor chains or the crane arm, I'm not sure, but I'm going to build it in black concrete, if I can find it, there. Yeah. So we use black concrete and what we do uh, one block to the side we build uh, one two three and then the other side one two three like so and then one two three four five across like that so it's, it's that's how I do it on all my ships but it's sort of a, a pulley system which raises and lowers chains and rigging and things like that but uh, it's a very basic of basics so that's all I've done um, and then what we're going to do is add, is leave another three block no two block gap sorry so from the front of the uh, mechanicals so we go one two and on the third block we add a center block and then we're going to build the anchor chains and the anchor chain wells so from that center block we build uh, three in quartz and then two and two that way same the other side three and then two and two and then you can remove the center block uh, and then on the inside here we add one two three up there and one two three up there these are the ends of the chains and then for the chains themselves I shall use stone slabs which I normally do on most of my ships 
We're going to build the chains 13 long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Same on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then at the end we add another end, like so. Basically that design, and it should look something like that. I'm just looking over to the other side to make sure I do this right. Can't really tell, but uh, we're doing it anyway. And then between the anchor chains, we need to add the anchors. So I think it's the auxiliary anchor, because the other anchors would hang off the side. Which is a detail I never do. I never added anchors to my ships, which is uh, sort of a fail on my department. But uh, there you go. So the anchor itself is a random design. I've not really measured this, but we're, we're just going to build a random design anyway. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five down the middle, like so. And then uh, one either side and one and one there like that and then add another one two three four up and then a block there and there sort of a, a stereotypical anchor shape if you like nothing really special so the anchor body itself was uh, so it was make it nine and then two blocks each side like that and then a block other side up there like that so it's nothing special but you know it's it's a thing in it so that's that um, so yeah, that's the anchor chain. So what we're going to do now is leave the anchor and the anchor chains. We're going to go to the forepeak of the bow. So the, this raised section around the bow. Um, we're going to go to the highest, the last high block, the last section there. So this block here, and the same the other side. We're just going to build a line of white blocks across like so. And then underneath as well, making a wall. And then... Uh, Add a block in the corners, making uh, joining them all together. So I block in there, in there, 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 and there, making all the section all the sections join up. And then in the inside, we just add red, like so. Just basically that. That's all you need to add. Looks a bit daft, but you know it's it's what I've done. And uh, that's that for that little job. And then in front of that, in the centre block, you're going to add a crane. Uh, which is six high so in quartz again we go one two three four five six high like that and if the crane arm we use quartz slabs again and just looking over to the prototype we go from the top we go halfway down the top block and then we build the crane arm seven so one two three four five six seven looking across again <laughs> and then underneath we build the diagonal section so underneath we just add diagonal strut for the crane itself and it should look something like that but if you want to you can make it slightly bigger so if we remove the struts go from the front one and just add the struts going down like that makes it a bit more a bit more bulky so there we go so there you are there's the crane itself and uh, that's a little jobby there now normally I would add the uh, handrails around the edge but we're not going to do that just yet because like on my other ships uh, when you come to add the handrails if I just get get them a minute the handrails always cause an issue on here because if you're adding the handrails there's always a wood block or the, the handrails always sit on a wood block so um, what we're going to do is remove the wood block in that section on each section as well because I do this with all my ships if you're, if you're familiar so just remove the wood block and replace it with quartz and just make sure that all the sections join up and then when you add the handrails they'll sit on top of all the white instead of wood blocks so we'll just remove the wood one wood block in each section and replace it with a quartz block or white wall or whatever whatever material you're using just replace it with a single block like so and then we add the handrails all the way around and the handrails will sit on all the white blocks and it don't look too bad there we go that's the handrails added there so do the same the other side I'll just do that as quick as I can because it don't, it don't take too long so I just remove the said blocks and replace with white ones <laughs> Mr. one last one there and then we add the handrails again
there we go, there's the handrails added. And it should look something like that. It's looking a lot better than it was. And uh, yeah, not too bad, is it? Right, one more job. No, it's actually a few more jobs we've got to do. So we've got to add some large cranes. You can see them on the prototype over there, those tall, sticky uppy things over there. So what we're going to do is add them. And oh, hang on. so what we're going to do is go to the stairs, which are here. So we'll go, we're on the left hand side stairs. And at the bottom banisters, we're going to count four, is it four out? Yeah, four out. So from the bottom banisters, we count one, two, three, four out, and one back. And then we build the crane itself uh, 15 high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and at the top, I, on the prototype, I used uh, quartz stairs for a bit, a bit of decoration. So I shall do that at the top. So upside down stairs all around the edge. I mean, it's nothing really special, but you know, it just makes a bit of a bit more design, like so. So you got a design like that at the top. So it's 15 high with a thing around the top, and then we need the quartz slabs again. And what we're going to do is add the crane arm, and the crane arm is on the fourth block, no, the fifth block up. Sorry, so one, two, three, four, five up, and the crane arm is 19 long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, like so. And uh, that's that crane there. And then you do the same on the other side. Uh, so one, two, three, four out, and one back from the stairs. And then we add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then upside down stairs. Like so, and then the crane arm itself on the fifth block up. One, two, three, four, five, and we build it 19. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And there we are. That's the crane arms, or the cranes. And the last job for the forecastle, I think, is to add bollards, which I use um, anvils. So I haven't got a. a a set position for these but we'll usually add four pairs so if we go from the front to the back so we add a pair of anvils there and then a bit further back we add another pair there a bit further back we add another pair and then a bit further back from there we add another pair there so it's four pairs of, of uh, bollards like so nothing really special but it's something and uh, it don't look too bad and we do the same on the other side <coughs> so a pair of uh, bollards there and then a bit further back we add a pair there make sure they're in line and then another pair here and then the last pair just here so like I say I'm not put them in a specific place but they're on there nonetheless and there we go that's the folk so it's it's basic in design but it's it's something you know it's nothing really special um, and that is pretty much it we just need to add windows to the front wall and I think we can call it a day there. So we'll just go down to the front wall and add some windows. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to the prototype actually and uh, do see what they how they uh, how they look. And uh, how is it? It's uh, one window door window window. That's it. And then three windows in the middle. So that's fine. So we will just jump back. And uh, so we we'll do on the right hand on the left hand side. Sorry. So we'll add a window. And then a door, which I never have selected. So add a door in the middle. And then two windows, a window and a window. So it's a window, door, window, window. And then in the middle, we'll add a window. And then one either side, like so. And then the same on the other side. So a window, a door, and then a window, window. Like so. So that is the uh, windows for the front there. So that is how that section should look. And it don't look too bad. So last job I promised for the folks all, or the next deck up really, is just to add a wall around the front curved wall of the upper deck here. So we'll just start at the back end of it and just add a wall around the outside of it. I'm not sure it's not meant to be. No, it's not handrails. It's a wall. So that's fine. Just a, a quartz wall around the edge and around the stairs
had a huge lag spike there for some reason, don't know why. And there we go, that's the uh, that little jobby done there. So um, yeah, that's the folks all sorted and the details around it. And it don't look too bad, do it? So we've, we've wasted a bit of time doing that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I do a bit more measuring and we can move on to the next job. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to move on to now is stairs, docking bridge, a few windows and more stairs, I think. So what we're going to do is go to the deck above the forecastle. So the forecastle's here, go to the next deck up. And the front wall of this deck here, we're going to add a set of stairs. Uh, so we need the stair blocks, which of course, which are always hidden out of the way. Um, so what we're going to do on the centre, we're going to remo uh, remove the centre block and add stairs and then stairs and then a block underneath and then stairs. So it's three stair blocks down and then a white block underneath and then a wood block like so and then another white block underneath. So it's stairs, stairs, stairs and then two white blocks or three white blocks diagonal underneath and then a, a, a wood block there. And then from that wood block you build stairs and stairs down uh, sideways. Same, same behind it, stairs and stairs down like that. So you've got stairs coming down, forwards, and they're separating at the bottom, like so. And then at the bottom you just add the balusters going up. And the same at the bottom around the other side. So it's two up, or three up in that case, and then two up there. One, two, three, and two up. Two up, like so. So it should look rather weird but you know it's it's there nonetheless and then the front here we can just add stair, uh, white blocks across the front and so you've got a staircase that comes down and splits and looks like that so you, you can make it as as detailed as you want I mean this is pretty basic by any standard but you know it's it's how it is <laughs> so that's that uh, so I'm just going to check around the side a minute because we've got to add some windows to this front wall um, yeah, what we're going to do now is add six windows across the front here now, because these windows are going to be the same as the ones on the side here. We've got these side windows which are two blocks high with a slab on top, so we're going to add them around the front now. And we're going to add six, so we're going to add one there, and then uh, two, three, four, five, and then uh, the sixth one there, I think. So add six. Is that enough? Or should we space them out a bit more? I think we can try and space them. So I'll put them back back in again. So we've got the first window there and then the second window there. So we've got a two block gap. So window, two block gap, window. So that's two. And then three. And then I admit it's a three block gap. So four. Uh, yeah, I think we've got to sort of space them out better, so if we try... don't really know, actually. Um, I'll do what you like. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Um, I'll make it five windows. I say one, two, three, four, five windows. But there's a way the space out is a bit odd, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's not doing too well. But anyway, we'll, we'll go with what we got. So I'll add five windows instead. So we'll add windows, window, <coughs> windows, windows windows and windows and then the slabs on the top so got five windows instead of six but you know it's, it's how you how you interpret it and how you want to space them out but I've, done, I've got six no five in there sorry but you, you can probably get six in there I think I've done six on the prototype but they are spaced out differently um, if we just pop over there I can probably do a, a better thing give you an idea so where, where are we uh, where are we, where are we, where are we, we are, so there's the side, and the windows are spaced at three there, and then there's a three block space, and then three more, so you could do it like that, if you want to, so three windows, three block space, three windows, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it, I think, um, I could do that, so if we do a bit more fiddling, a bit more fiddling, so we get rid of these windows again, apologies for all the uh, crap that I've uh, achieved, so that's one window, and then one there and one there, and then the space in between. Like so, so it's one, two, three windows, and then a three block space. So one, two, three, and then we add the next window. Space, and then one, two, 
and the third one will be here and then replace that with white blocks and then there we go that's how we're meant to do it so it's three windows three block space three windows and then you can add another window here or a door I think we put a door there actually that probably make a bit more sense and there we go that's that little job done there so I do the same the other side and now we know what I'm doing we can achieve a bit more so I put a window there and a window there and a window there with the slabs on the top and then a three block space one two three and then another window 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 with the slabs on the top and it should look something like that and then a door at the bottom of the stairs like so and there we go that's that front wall done there There's nothing special but you know it's like I say it's a thing right so there we go that's that deck done so we'll go to the next deck up and add a wall around the front again like like the one below just add a, a wall around the front so we'll go to the pillars that support the bridge wings and then just add a wall around the front of this uh, front wall There we go, that's our front wall added there. And then we can leave it at that. So we move up to the next deck now. And on this wall here, we need to add uh, we need to add seven windows we need to add. So it's uh four. Now you want to bear with me. So yeah, I think it's seven windows. I'm gonna do another trip over there in a minute just to get this right. So how do we do this? We add uh, so it's two two block high windows, so it's three on the front and then two either side, so we'll go back again and try and do this properly, so back to where we were, so we had three windows on the front wall so one on the centre and then one either side, so it's three on the front wall like so, three like that and then two either side, so we'll add another one there and then another one there like so, so it's seven, that's, that's five and then we had number six there and number seven there like so so that's that wall done there and then above that because you've got an, uh, another deck in this area here we need to add uh, four windows on the front so uh, if we go to the side and try and work out where we need to go so the deck is uh, the decks there so we need to add the windows here so we add uh, four across the front like that so there we there's four windows like that across the front so make them two blocks high. So it's four across the front, like so, and then uh, I think it's two either side. So if I, if I pop over again, I'm, not, I'm sort of getting mixed ideas on this one. So it's four across the front, and then yeah, two either sides. So there we go. So we know what we're doing. Glad someone does. Right. So it's four across the front like that, and then two down the side. So one there and then one a bit further along like so and then the same the other side so one on the side there and then another one there like that so there we go there's those windows added there so that's the front walls done I just let you look at the walls there so you can get an idea of the amazing amazingness of this uh, build and my randomness of the windows and then um, we can move on to something else so um, we've added the walls so what we're going to do now is move up to the top bridge wings and we're not going to bother with the windows and things on this super stretch here we'll just do a fly over the prototype to get an idea on how they're laid out because they're all random really but uh, anyway what we're going to do is move to the bridge wing the top bridge wing and we're going to add a set of stairs so the back bridge wing uh, the, the back of the top bridge wing we're on the left here so the back of the bridge wing we're going to remove a block or we'll remove two blocks and add a set of stairs going down to the deck below like so and then just add the banister two up two up and two up and then the support stairs underneath, like so. So you've got that staircase there, and then the same on the other side. So remove those two blocks there, and then stairs, 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 and stairs. And then we go two up, two up, two up, and then a block, block, block underneath. So there we go, there's those two sets of stairs there. And then around the rest of the deck, we just add handrails, so I've got to find the handrails again. So from the tops of the stairs, 
uh, from the bridge wings we add handrails around the edge there will be more details added but we're just going to do the, the basics for now and get some of the handrails out of the way because they're a pain in the ass to do at the end of the videos but they need doing and there we go up to the other staircase there so that's that bridge deck done there um, so just bear with me while I read my notes and what we need to do is go to the back of the ship now because we're going to add the docking bridge um, and some more stairs so we'll go to the docking bridge area first so we'll go right to the back of the ship first so you've got the very end of the ship here the very back end of the ship so you go to the next deck along and then the next deck above that one, so onto this section here. So we're two decks above the back end. So the back end is there, one deck there, deck two here. So this is where we build. And on this back wall here, we're going to build a wall seven wide. So that's center block, and then one, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way. And then the sides are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then across the front and then increase the wall to three high all the way around so build it three high all the way around like so and then on the back wall uh, we increase it to four high because this is where the, the docking bridge will begin so make this back wall four high and then we're going to build out uh, for the dimensions of the wing of the bridge wing. Uh, we're going to build out two, and then curving forward five. One, one, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four, and then three rows of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then two, and then two forward, like so, and then straight across across to the front wall of the uh, building below so just build it straight all the way along and then across the front of the of the bridge building there so do the same on the other side build out two so two and then five one two three four five and then four one two three four and then three 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 one one two three one two three one two three and then two and then two forward and then straight across to the front there like that and there we go that's the uh, docking bridge sort of in place there and then we just add the deck which is of course wood blocks oak wood or whatever and we'll start at the edge of the bridge wing and just fill it all in with wood blocks I do a bit of it and then use the fill tool for the rest of it Just stand on this wall here and use the fill tool. So fill with wood, and there we go. That's the bridge or docking bridge done. And then underneath this side, so we'll go to the sides of the docking bridge, and we're going to add the pillars to support it. So we'll add, uh, I think, how do we do it? So again, one, two, three, from from the edge of the ship anyway. Add sort of a pillar three high and about three wide on the side like that. So it's on the edge of the ship three wide, three high to connect the bottom of the bridge wing. Do the same on the other side. Let's make it three wide, three high. Like so, so that's the uh, supports done there. And it should look something like that. Now for the stairs, there are a set of stairs but I can't remember how they go on so I'm just going to pop over to our prototype again. Jump to and it's a central set so that's fine we just got to add a central set of uh, stairs there so back to our build remove two blocks of the wood and one or well, whatever whichever you want to do get our stairs again because I've thrown them away we just add stairs down stairs stairs and stairs and then the block the other side like so and then the banisters up so two and two, two, and two, 
and there's your docking bridge and then you just add the handrails around the edge and then across the front and there we go that's that docking bridge done there's probably a bit more detail we can add to it but we're not going to worry about it just yet it may be uh, a pillar or a thing or two so um, I'm just going to do a quick jump cut now before we move on to the last bit because I've got a hell of a lot of lag so um, back in a second okay back again just had to sort out the lag spikes there but I think everything's okay now uh, so what we're going to do now is move on to behind the bridge wing or the, the docking bridge just underneath really uh, we're going to add two sets of stairs going down either side so we've got the support for the docking bridge there we're going to add uh, we'll remove two blocks there and a block down we'll add a set of stairs here so stairs down 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 uh, a block stairs stairs and a block underneath that so you've got a set of stairs there so uh, you can see going down and then we add the banisters so two up two up two up two up two two up and two up so that's that side same the other side remove two and one there add the stairs there 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 and there all the stair blocks on top of them and then the banisters two up two up two up two up two up two up like so and that's the staircases on the back there and then for the back wall of the deck below down here we just add a single set of stairs so we'll remove uh, two blocks there and then we'll add the stairs going down so stairs stairs block stairs block stairs block and stairs and then the banisters, so banisters up, two up, two up, two up, and so forth. Two up, two up, two, two up, and there. And there we go, that's the banisters and the stairs for that section there. Um, so what we're going to do now is around this back section here, we can just add uh, a set of handrails. So we'll add the handrails around this area. And like I said, there should be uh, some interior walls here, but I think we'll just leave them for now because they're not really... Uh, needed but you can add them if you want to add some corridors or things um, but so I, I was going to come back and do this but it's just not really not really necessary now but anyway onto the handrails so just add handrails from this area around the back of the uh, not the lowest deck but uh, the next deck up from there I put some white blocks in the corners here and handrails on there And there we go, that's the handrails added there. Uh, you can do the same with the next deck up as well. So just behind, uh, from the, the back end of the uh, docking bridge, no, yeah, the docking bridge supports, just add the handrails along the back wall up to the stairs. And that's that little job there. Same on the other side. Like so. And uh, that's that little job there. So I've got plenty done there. Uh, just check my notes so I know what I'm doing um, and we can add some handrails as well along around the stern as well around the uh, fan tail but before we do that like on the bow <coughs> like on the focus sorry we can add we can uh, if we do add the handrails it's going to be the same situation we've got to remove the wood blocks so if we use the uh, the green again so the proper green color green concrete and remove the blocks we need to remove so that all the, the line of the green is connected um, it will look fine, so I'll just do that as quick as I can. Just uh, remove the wrong one. So remove and replace the areas which are need needed. So it's just, it's just a cosmetic thing, really. You don't have to do this. But I just think it looks better if you do. So there we go. There's the sections all corrected, and now we can add the handrails around the stern. You don't need to worry about adding one on the end there that's not a big deal but we'll add the uh, handrails around the rest and there we go 
that's the uh, handrails added there. So uh, we've got a bit done today. We've got uh, propellers, rudders, docking bridge, forecastle, some other bits, stairs. <laughs> got plenty done so far today. So I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, so yeah, but for the windows on the top of the superstructure, we'll, what we'll do, we'll go over to the prototype and uh, have a look at how the windows are laid out. So we've got the overhang here on the top here, uh, as you can see on the prototype over there, on the on the build over there. We've got windows going across the back underneath there, and single windows on the sides. So we've got the the lifeboats in the way, but you can see the windows are just single windows there, and then a few bigger uh, bigger windows on the front of the deck house there. Got some windows on the little red deck house up the top there, with that sort of bridge wing there. So single windows and doors, um, and then three windows attached to the funnel deck house. So just three little windows there, and then for the uh, forward deck house, which sits the bridge, uh, the bridge on top, got big windows on the back. So two large windows, and then a separate single window on the back wall, and on the side walls, you got. Uh, Four two high windows there, on the front, on the uh, back, and then a big gap, and then you got two large uh, square windows, uh, just pr uh, just next to the uh, staircase there. So that is uh, that section there. And then for the wheelhouse on the top, we've got a, a pair of doors, and then four windows or five windows, sorry, and that's pretty much it. Uh, on the back, we've got windows as well and the staircase. I will do the staircase in the tutorial because we've got to do the mast and things as well but just point out the windows on the back and of course the same on the other side so uh, that's all the windows. I just wanted to point them out because uh, I usually do them uh, off camera but I thought I'd, I thought I'd give a rough idea on where they go uh, just for the uh, purpose of showing you. <laughs> But uh, that's the prototype, and the model what we're building is it, it very it, it's it's slightly different in some areas, but it's just er errors on my part that more or less though they are the same. But the window placement you can sort of copy what I just showed you, or go ahead and do your own. It's entirely up to you. But anyway, that is it for today. We've got the uh, folks all and all those details done, and uh, we can leave it there. So uh, that's it for part six. So for part seven. I think we can get the mast and the funnel out of the way as well as a few more cranes and a few more details and I think we can uh, call it quits at part 8 uh, don't quote me on that but I think we can go as far as part 8 and then we can uh, have the ship completely done but we'll see um, but yeah anyway so that's it for part seven, uh, part 6 sorry. so um, yeah, we'll leave it at that so this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing um, and I shall return in part 7 so uh, bye for now